Okay, it's Chinese kit time. Uh, this one doesn't say anything. It just gives a number. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, let's get it open. Let's see here. Let's fill anything. Ah, I know what this is. Uh, this is some sort of audio spectrum analyzer typey thing. Um, it's multi-channel. I believe it's an FFT, so a uh, single chip, the audio comes in, gets digitized, does an FFT, and then it displays the FFT on a bar graph. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, an eight channel bar graph. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight by eight, so eight bit, eight bit, eight channel. Um, so the reason I bought this kit wasn't necessarily that I really cared about having a uh, an FFT. I like building kits, so I don't really care what the kit is. Um, but the uh, most interesting thing about this kit is it's double-sided surface mount. Now I've done double-sided surface mount in the past and it's tricky. Um, you're basically wetting the solder twice, so you have to figure out which side you want to do first and which side you want to do second. Now, I've been thinking about this one before it came in the mail. Um, I think I'm going to do this side first. And the reason is, is when I flip it over, those are the lightest parts, and so they're the most likely to be held on with just surface tension. Um, whereas if I do this side, there's some heavy parts like the IC and a big capacitor and some surface mount uh, uh, eighth inch jacks and things like that. So much heavier parts on this side. So don't want to flip this upside down because parts are just going to fall out the bottom. So we're going to do this side first. Now, the other thing that I've learned um, by mistakes in the past is um, when you have one board loaded, you do not put it into the oven like this um, because you're actually um, um, pushing on the parts, you know, by gravity. Uh, you want to have some standoffs in these corners so that the parts themselves are just floating in space and that the uh, surface mount, um, surface tension um, will hold them in place. Um, so you want them to be able to float freely and hopefully they, they stick upside down. Um, so we'll put some little standoffs in the corners when we, when we flip this thing over. Now one of the things about um, flipping it over with standoffs is that you've moved the part up just a tiny bit. So it's, these parts are going to get hotter. Um, just, just a little movement, just a quarter inch movement in the surface mount oven will cause quite a bit of temperature change. So I have to make sure that my standoffs are not too tall. Um, they're just tall enough. Um, so anyway, that's why I chose this kit and we'll get working on it. Um, first thing I need to do is get the LEDs out, 64 LEDs, and um, figure out which direction they go in. Uh, they're not really marked on the board of which is anode and which is cathode. So I'll need to go take a look at a um, photograph of a loaded board or something to try to figure out which uh, which side to put these on. Well, I can't find any documentation on which way the diodes go. I looked very close at the photographs. They were a bit ambiguous. Um, I'm just going to assume a particular direction and uh, my best guess. And it either works or doesn't. If it doesn't work, I guess I'm out the money and I have to order another one and put them in the other way around. <laughs> but anyway, I'll load this up uh, surface mount and uh, we'll get it in the oven. All right, uh, have all the surface mount parts uh, put on with uh, with the uh, solder paste. Um, I did have a couple uh, parts left over right here. I've got uh, four LEDs left over, so they gave a couple extras. That was nice. Um, so we will take this thing here and uh, pop it in the oven and see what it does. Hopefully nothing tombstones. And I can flip it over and do the other side. All right, so I put some uh, screws here in the, in the uh, 
mounting holes and the head of the screw is good enough to when I flip this thing over those uh, surface mount parts won't touch so be careful with that. Um, these are 256 screws um, so pretty small and so we'll flip it over and uh, do the other side we'll get this uh, get this thing uh, surface mounted. Oh we got a lot of reflections here on the camera. All right, uh, so we have, um, turn this stupid light off here. You can see it a little bit better. Uh, we have the other side loaded. Um, remember the other side is already soldered. So we're gonna put this in the micro, in the uh, microwave, in the uh, IR oven. And uh, we'll do this side and hopefully the other side, no parts fall off. So we'll see how that goes. In case your uh, kit doesn't include the uh, parts placement, uh, I found this. It wasn't the original um, part that I bought, but it matches. Uh, so these are the uh, component values and the uh, component number on the PC board, so it matched mine. So if you're having a hard time find then, finding that, hopefully this helps. All right, uh, so this came, this side came out okay, except for this uh, uh, one switch here. It actually fell over. Uh, it did keep soldered. The, the actual contacts for the switch itself stayed uh, where they should be, but the part fell over. So it should actually work. Um, it's just it's supposed to be sideways instead of up and down. Oh, sorry, the uh, gardener decided to come just now. All right, hopefully the gardener went to the other... Uh, the other property. So um, uh, let's see if the parts fell off the backside. Yay! So all the parts stayed um, on this side. Uh, so the wetting of the uh, solder paste, uh, or yeah, uh, held all the parts on. So success. So when we flipped it over, they didn't fall off. Uh, they were held on. So I think it's time to uh, power this thing on. I got to figure out how to do that. I think this is the power connector, and this is like a audio in, audio out, or something like that. Um, but uh, this one here, I believe, is just uh, probably five volts going on. Um, so, we'll see if we can't uh, hook that up. All right, so I uh, have power hooked up, and I believe the LEDs are in backwards. Yay! 50-50 chance of getting that right. Uh, if I hit the... Let's, let's see here. Where's the? Yeah, here's the. Here's the uh, reset switch. Uh, I think it's all upside down. Uh, white is black, and black is white. So, don't think this is gonna work. Uh, oh well. So, what not to do? Um, okay. Let me show you how I have it hooked up, so you don't do it the way that I did it, and you do it the other way, and then you have more fun. Um, I, I keyed off this little Y here, okay? And so the Y um, is on that right-hand side of the board when you're looking at it this way. And all of the, your connectors are over here. And uh, the way that I have it is that there's a green band on the LED that denotes the cathode. So I have anode on the right and cathode on the left. M. It should be the other way around. It sh should be uh, anode on the right and cathode on the, I mean, uh, anode on the left and cathode on the right. So the green, green band on all of these LEDs should be on the right hand side pointed towards the Y. So, fail. <laughs> anyway, um, like I said, I wasn't too interested in the actual part itself. I was more interested in the uh, uh, flip flip of the uh, surface mount, which was a success. So uh, I've got half of what I wanted out of it, so uh, that was good. Anyway, hope you have better luck than I did.